First and foremost, <clears throat> I'd like to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kakadash, and much honor and respect to the brothers that are teaching this truth and sincerity across the four winds of the earth, and to the large remnant, we start with the house of David, the 144,000, plus the innumerable multitude of the 12 tribes of Israel. We consider the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Until you confuse you in the faces and speckled bird that look like the heathen nations, like they shallow warm. So I'm gonna get into this quick video. Uh, Esau, Edom. You know what? I, I, let me read this scripture here first, and then I'll speak on it. I'm gonna make it short, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna speak on it, and that's gonna be the video. <clears throat> a Lord willing, that it be that it be edifying. Okay, going to the book of St. Matthew, <clears throat> it's a lock him, <clears throat> some kind of horse. Going to the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All nations, because the 12 tribes of Israel are scattered abroad across the four winds, be it a transatlantic slave trade, <clears throat> sub-Saharan slave trade, silk trade, and, and the uh, channel slave trade. Okay? James 1 and 1, and uh, via uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68, the curse is only fit the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay? So here's what happened, Israel. I put up a, I put up a video. Okay, let me read this again. <clears throat> and it's for you, Esau Edom. You got damn devil. Damn devil that the Bible speaks of. Take this one down. I don't give a damn. You don't have no control of this gospel. And you listen to this and you listen good, sucker. St. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom, which is the 12 tribes of the house of Israel, but the elect. It's all about the whole elect. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Then shall the end come, Esau, Edom. You know, and you pissed off because we are uh, speaking the true doctrine. The true gospel. Let me ask you a question. Israel, before I get into it, it's going to be quick. You know, this dragon took down a 40 minute video. Okay. Now, and it took before he took before this damn devil decided to take it down. Get I guess how long it took for for a forty minute video to post. Twelve hours. And when it uploaded, he he took it down right away. But this gospel shall be preached. Let me read it to you again. And this gospel of the kingdom of Israel shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So Esau, Edom, you're not going to stop this gospel. You're not going to stop this doctrine of Yahweh, why Yahweh shall. And Yahweh is the true God of the Hebrew Israelites, the 12 tribes. Yah is he, how he is, to, he exists, or he to be. And who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Yah is he, how shall he saves and he delivers. He only coming back to deliver the 12 tribes of the house of Israel. So this, so this red dragon took down a video and here's why he took it down. See, this, this goes to show you that he is the damn devil. And, and when we say devil, he's, the devil just means he's a deceiver. He is the physical counterpart or the physical manifestation of, of his father, spiritual demon Satan. It, it is a bloodline of people. It's not just one person. It started with the international bankers that rule that this uh that, that are running the whole society or the whole globe. Okay, they have influence over the whole globe. Okay. It is a bloodline of of people. Now, here's what he did. Like the Most High Yahweh, he command his men, his true prophets, your sincere brothers, that's teaching the truth and sincerity 
of Yahweh while Yahweh shine. Okay. Hey, the Most High commanded his prophets to go out and warn Israel. Isaiah 50, 81, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, roughly paraphrased, and show my people their sins and their transgressions. Okay, roughly paraphrasing it. I want to make it fast. So, and what the class was on, it was on uh, fearing the Lord, fearing him, that this is the time of judgment. And that's all I'm going to say. That's what, that's what the name of the or the lesson was about fearing the Lord, changing your ways before you get destroyed. Okay, so now, and what pissed him off? What pissed him off is Israel. If you will, this is the reason he he took down the video. I'm not going to read these scriptures, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call out what I read. So this is how we know that the famine of the world is is about to come. All these prophecies is coming at once. Okay, now watch this. If you will, Israel, read. And this was, and this is what I was talking about. Telling, I, I said, I got to speak in cold talk because he'll take down the videos. Okay, Genesis, just read between the lines. I was telling our people to repent and return back to the Most High Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Okay, so this is one of the main scriptures I did. I spoke on. Genesis, read Genesis chapter 19 and verse 1 through 9. Read that. This is one of the main reasons he took down the video because this showed what they're all about. Then if you also go to uh, 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 Revelations, what is 11 and 8? Okay, let me read. I'm going to read that one. Okay, so this is going to link up with the other video that they took down. Okay, I'm going to read this one. Then y'all just put two and two together. And then I'm going to speak on what he did. Okay. Read between the lines because I don't, I don't want to repeat it and I want to give him an excuse to take it down again. And their dead bodies shall lie in the in the street of that of the great city which is spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified. How he whitewashed the images. This is how our Lord was crucified. Okay, now, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Okay, link that up with Genesis 19 and 1 through 9. Read between your lines. That's why he took it down. Okay, I'm preaching the gospel, warning our people like the Most High Yahweh commanded his men to do. Okay, now, write this one down. Ezekiel. Hey, look, read this one. This is for the newcomers. Read this one. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Read it on down. Warning our people before the destruction. Turn from your ways. That's all I was doing. Warning our people. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn back to your house. Okay? Then, I also spoke on Hebrews 10 and 31. Okay? Read that. For the newcomers. This is who it's for. For you, uh... You brothers and sisters that have been in this thing for quite some time, you already know what this means. So I'm just trying to reach, or we're trying to reach the newcomers that still need holy houses and these Sunday worship temples. You know, we're fishing for the elect, the whole free elect, pushing his word and truth and sincerity, hoping to hoping to fish them through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It's, it's mainly for these newcomers that are coming in in these last days. Okay? Preaching the terror of the Lord. Okay, Hebrews 10 31 again. And, and I, uh, I also uh, spoke on Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, which is in the Apocrypha, chapter 39, verse 28. This is why he took the videos down. Because I want warning our people, Israel, the 12 tribes, to that it's time for judgment. The Most High is making this move. All the prophecies are jumping off the page. That's what I was saying. Okay, uh, 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 Matthew, the 24th chapter, read it on down. It tell you about the signs of the time when Yahweh Shah Mashiach going to return. Okay, it talk about, okay, I even spoke on, uh, uh, you know what, I, I ain't going to talk too much, but just read Matthew 24 and read it on down, the signs of the time. It, uh, 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 I want to say, 
Second Ezra is the ninth chapter, right in the first verse, read it on down. And I think I spoke on Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, which pretty much is talking about how, what signs to look for when Yahweh Shah Hamashiach a return to destroy this kingdom. All of the signs. That's all I that's all I was preaching. Warning our people, repent, because it's all about judgment. The most high is bringing fierce judgment every day upon his people. Uh, Zephaniah 3 and 5. Read that one. That's all I was preaching. That's all I was do, doing. Warning our people. Read that one. Psalms 68 and 20. Read that one. So I don't want to read it because, you know, them devils, you know. Okay, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Who doing all these things? How the Lord do all these things? Like it also said, Isaiah 45. It's good to start in verse 5 and read it on down. So he, he, he make a statement showing you who's doing these things. For the newcomers, read that. Because we're fishing the hope for elect in these last and evil days before the return of our Savior. All the prophecies lining up. The prophecies are, line, are lining up. Plus the famine in the world. That's why they're taking out these videos, okay? Now, uh, let me see. Sirach, Sirach, which is in the, also in the Apocryphal, chapter 5, verse 7. Read that one. This is why this devil took down the video. Because I was warning our people to turn back to our true power, Yahweh, so they won't be, they won't be destroyed. I'll put it like that for right now. Read between the lines. You understand what I'm saying. Uh, Israel that's been in this, this truth for a while. But keep in mind, you know, I know y'all know this already, but the Lord, well, Yahweh put up on my spirit to break, to make that video the other day. It was just the judgment of the Lord. And I spoke on some topics on, on the most side doing some things or bringing judgment to certain people or certain individuals, you know. And then when I also spoke on Genesis, the 19th chapter, that links up, that pretty much speaks more on it in a spiritual standpoint. Revelation, say, 11 and 8. Okay? So that's what got him butthurt about it. But you cannot stop this gospel. You can't stop it. All right? This is only for the hopeful elect. You know what? I'm going to, I'm, we're going to, we're going on the streets, Lord willing, this weekend. And it, it's going to be well worth going to your ass, Esau. You know what? Whenever, let me speak for a second. Whenever, you know, a different topic pop in my head to do a, to do a, whether it's a sit down or a street teaching on, uh, for some reason, I can't get you out of my mind. See, Yahweh, he keep putting up on my mind to speak judgment and destruction upon you damn red devils. So Lord willing, I want to take that energy out on the streets. I can't do a sit down because I'm too full of I'm too full of fire of your howl by assuming how was shy and I don't want to break my table in half or run through my wall. I think about you every night, Esau Edom. The whole nation. When y'all come into the kingdom of heaven that's gonna be on earth and ruled by Yahweh Shah Mashiach and King David. And the governing and the government, well, I said governing body. And 144,000. Lord willing, long as I, long as I, I mean, I just want to make it, but Lord willing. So now, let me go ahead and say, get into these few uh, precepts. All right? So here's what we're going to do. First, let me see. Let me do this. Okay. So it's all about the elect, the hopeful elect. So we're going to go to, this is for the elect. We're going to go in, 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 in the famine of, of the word is at hand, Israel. Are uh, these devils, you know, are they shaking in their boots? Going to the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter, uh, let me see, Isaiah 59. Like I said, it's going to be quick. Like I said, them devils, they took down the video. It's just for warning our people. You damn, you damn, you damn uh, red dragons. Isaiah 59. It's going to be quick, Israel. Isaiah 59 and 15. Only for the elect. Only for the elect. Is that what it's all about? The hopeful elect. Let's see. Am I not right? 
Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I need. Okay, I'm gonna read this first. I'm gonna read this first. So we're gonna go to uh we're gonna go to the book of Isaiah chapter 59. And ye, yea, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil, making himself a prey. You see how we departed from evil. And uh I got this call from Yahweh by Shimon Yahweh Shah to come preach the gospel. But long as it was in the world, the world loved us, right? Ye, yea, true failure, and he that departed from evil, making himself a prey. And so we'll pray from, from speaking the truth. We'll pray. A the true man of the Lord and that large remnant that followed his doctrine. We'll pray. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there were no judgment. Okay, so I just so I just stopped there. All right? So whoever preached this gospel and preached to the twelve tribes scattered abroad, preaching repentance and turn back to our power, we become a prey. Okay? So that's why he took down the video. You damn hey. Hey, you can't you can't uh stop prophecy. And you can't stop your judgment from taking the videos down. Keep taking them down. Because the more you do that, this is one of the, the next uh, major prophecies or one of the major prophecies beside the MOTB and the third woe is the family of the word. So the soon, as soon as at the most high, he, he allowing you to do this. It ain't something that you're doing. The most high, he orders your steps. So the sooner you keep, the more you keep taking these videos down, the more you lean onto your captivity. Okay, so uh, so I'm gonna move on. Okay, oh, it's gonna be quick. Just something quick. You know, my blood got the boiling today. Thinking about this damn red devil, this red dragon, going to the book of Isaiah, chapter one and verse nine. Here's what this damn devil pissed off about. It's all for you, elect the hopeful elect. It's all for you. We we we're doing this thing for the hopeful elect. Especially the one that's coming in, that's coming into the last days of all hell being breaking loose. And we preaching this gospel of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And it warn you to come out of those holy houses. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 9. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. We should have been as Sodom and we, we should have been like Gomorrah. We only that small remnant is, is who we fishing for. And this this damn red dragon, he take the video down because we because we want our people to stop following his wicked ass ways, his wine and his philosophies and doctrine. He take the video down because we speak upright. You damn twisted man, you. Hey, when captivity, man, when it when it's your turn, hey man, you're gonna pay. You, you're gonna pay. It's all for the elect, the whole free elect. Okay? So uh, are we gonna get uh it's all for the elect, especially coming into these last days. Uh we're gonna go to the book of Isaiah. And this is a warning. We just fishing for the whole free elect. Uh let's go back to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 65 and 8. Isaiah 65 and verse 8. Thus said the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one said, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so will I do for my servant's sake that I may not destroy them all. And that small cluster is talking about the hopefully elected one third elect. The innumerable multitude and we fishing for them through the spirit and power of Yahweh while Yahweh shine. Okay? So this devil pissed off because I'm warning the whole elect to turn back to Yahweh, take on his customs, which following the law, statutes, and commandments the best of our ability. The law won't save us, but rehearsing the righteous acts. Showing the Lord that we are obeying him the best of our ability. Okay, but the main 
a, a gift is the gift of faith and a gift of hope. And putting out belief in Yahweh about Hashem Yahweh and not in this devil's a wicked ass uh, society with his Babylonian wine and his poison philosophy and his doctrine. The Lord of Shalak Rayon. Aragium, Mashapatium, Adawamium, Kal Halayu, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the water, the water, the water, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, for you, Edom, you damn dread dragon, you ain't gonna be able to stop this gospel. Okay? I'm gonna read it again. Thus said the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one said, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them all. We are the servants of the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The true brothers that pushing this truth and sincerity around the four winds. Well, as a lucky, across the four winds of the earth. Starting with the apostles and the elders of, of Great Millstone. And the other brothers that come in the same spirit. Of this doctrine, doctrine. I'm so pissed off right now, man. Esau, either man, hey, your turn is coming. You ain't gonna be able to hide this gospel. Okay. So here's what. So he he, he so so what he doing is he cutting the videos. He had the he had the uh our uh, uh uh subscribers. He take them. He add them. As soon as we get two or three, he take them away. Hiding the views. You still ain't gonna be able to stop this gospel. You ain't gonna be able to stop it. So, so here's where we head. Uh, okay. Let me read this, and then I'll I'll pull I'll pull these last two scriptures. I'm gonna pull. I got four more scriptures. I'm gonna make it quick. Here's what's bothering. We're calling him out. We're showing who he, who you are through the scriptures. You can't hide. You can't hide no more. You've been exposed. And now you want to try to take down the videos thinking you're going to stop your destruction. No, you're still going into captivity. You, you ain't going to be able to stop Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. You have all the kings of the east that the Most High is stirring their spirit up. First, first and foremost, he putting up on your spirit because you proud as hell, Obadiah 1 and 6 in various scriptures. Isaiah the 14th chapter, around the ninth verse, like you is the most high. Second Thessalonians, second chapter. So the most high race of the kings of the east to push those or let those arrows fly. Them ICBMs. You see, you can't stop prophecy. You can't stop it. No matter what you try to do. You see? You cannot stop this prophecy. When Yahweh Shah Mashiach, after the arrow started to fly via the third woe, and all hell being breaking loose, the MOTB, martial law, chaos all over the globe. Second Ezra, the 13th chapter. Which y'all is going to call UFOs. The big father ship that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach gonna crack through the skies. Father, when right behind him is Michael the Archangel and the other countless innumerable angels. You fix to be subdued, you damn dragon. And it's gonna be a small remnant of you elite. The angels are going to drag y'all asses out of those bunkers in your mountain retreats. Y'all going to be the first fruits of slavery. And see, you suckers that running YouTube and all of these uh, 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 media uh, uh, corporations, y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all y'all just being told what to do. See, the elite, they know what time it is. They know what fixing to happen. Y'all don't. Y'all just, just being... Some good puppets like they tell y'all to do. But they know what's fixing to happen. But y'all in the algorithm. The hell with you. 
Don't, it ain't gonna stop y'all from going to sleep in the captivity. Going to the book of jail mile. I'm gonna get ready to close it out here. Going to the book of jail mile, chapter five and verse 14. And you listen, you listen good, you damn red dragons. The more you take these videos down, you are fulfilling prophecy. Because the Lord Yahweh, he's the one allowing you to do it. And, and this is what got y'all butt hurt for y'all being exposed. Isaiah, uh, Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 14. Wherefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, God of hosts, the God of armies, the, the power of armies. Because you speak this word, you say, what? Why they take it down, Lord? Wherefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words and my fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. See? You can devour by the word. This is the law of Yahweh's word. Let me read it to you again. Cause ye speak this word, the true meaning of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Cause you speak this word, behold, I will make my words and thou mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. You being devoured by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai through his prophets. We speaking his words. That's why you're taking the videos down. That's why you're getting devoured. You can't hide from the prophets, Esau. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can run, but you can't hide. You only got so far you that you can go. Your time is up. Hey, you want to descend in the hourglass. Like that, like that soap, that soap opera back in the days, days of our lives. Your cap well, your kingdom is circling the drain, is circling the tidy bowl. Okay. Let's go to jail mile, stay in the book of jail mile. Jail mile. Where you at Jeremiah? 23 and 29. It's going to link up with Jeremiah 5 and 14. Going to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 29. <clears throat> hey, listen to this, Esau. Hey. And listen to this. Is not my words like a fire? You see that? Why you take the video down, Esau? Esau, I wasn't even talking to you on that video. I didn't even go off on you in that video. I was just warning our people, the 12 tribes scattered abroad. I wasn't even going off on you, man. But but you the damn you the damn you the damn devil the Bible speaks of, see. You, are you just doing your job with the most high your whole program you to do? I ain't mad at you. Because see, this is this is the Lord's script. This is the Lord's movie. He programmed you to be, be that way, but it's still pissing me off. And because we can't wait to get your ass in captivity. It's not my word like a fire, said the Lord, and like a hammer that break it the rock in pieces. Yeah. So this word is like a fire. And it break your ass into pieces. It hurts your feelings. Because it exposes you. See, 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 the most high, he know how to expose you. And this is for the elect anyway. They're going to understand. They're going to understand exactly what we're talking about. But it's a lock. It's, what I'm trying to say is the newcomers that's out there, <coughs> if the spirit of the Lord Yahweh is upon you, this word is going to fish you. Right? But here's what we but here's what we heading to. We're heading to the family of the word. So we're gonna go to the book of Amos. We're about to I get ready to close it out. The book of Amos, chapter 8, and verse 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord God, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land. And this is why they cut them videos. Hey, the Lord said, he's going to bring it. He saw, 
Let me read it again. So you can know there's something that you're not doing. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, the Most High, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but hearing the word, Salaki, of the Most High, of the Lord. It's all caps. The Lord said he's going to send that famine in the land, not you, Esau. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. And how are they going to run to and fro? Through the internet. All via the internet, the internet of things. Where you can just go on YouTube and you can just find any brother or any camp that you like or any individual brother that you like that, that's teaching. This true doctrine. Got to be this doctrine. 100% doctrine. You won't be able to find this doctrine. The famine of the word. And this is one of the worst famines. Because once the famine of the word, once the Lord cut this thing off, our best off. The the, the uh the sure and mercies of David is the doors of of repentance and mercy is gonna be closed. Jacob trouble, all these plagues and pestilence that the most high Yahweh, by Shimon Yahweh Shai gonna unleash on Babylon the Great. Okay, Esau, Edom's kingdom. I said the Chaldees, the revived Roman Empire. Okay, build a Renaissance. Oh, uh, and so that's all I got. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. That's all really I got. Like I said, I wanted to make it quick. Let me see. You know what? I'm just gonna close it out right there because I don't want I don't want to drag it out. But it was just you know I just had to I just had to speak on how pissed off I was you know you know uh, doing that video. But it just Esau being the damn devil that the Bible speak of that that Yahweh created him to be. So I can't get mad at it. You know it'll piss you off, but I, you know I can't get mad at it. Uh, just trying to warn our people. Well, the elect, only the elect, and that's it. Only the elect is who we for. Uh, the two thirds, you, hey, no, and, hey, we're not in that time no more. I, I'm, I'm only reaching, trying to fish for the whole elect. That's it. Not finna bend nobody's arm. I remember when I first came into this thing, you know, you know, just trying to warn our people over and over again. Oh, uh, no, no, no more, no more. A, a, a time out, time out for that. Like I say, in Ecclesiastes, the first chapter on down. Hey, ain't no time for that no more. Hey, only for the elect. So, I would like to close out. You know, by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh and to you other brothers that teaching the truth of the series called the Four Wings of the Earth, the Charlotte Warren, Barbara Ball. Hopefully this, this little rant was edifying. So Lord willing, until the next one, Barbara Ball.